OpenAI just launched 4.0 image generation, and it's mind-blowing. It shows very impressive results for detailed text and image generation and character consistency like this penguin example right here. If you're new here, I have a bunch of resources on robotics and AI on my channel, so subscribe for more. So let's first talk about character consistency. So what's so important about character consistency is imagine you're trying to write a comic or some storybook and you have a character, right? And you want to use AI to generate it. How do you make sure the character is consistent between each page? So this is a long, well-known problem back when we have image generation that just came out and a lot of people struggle with this problem. But here you can see in this example with this penguin. So here they prompted to create this penguin and then now he wants to modify it. So you can see that to make this modification, they want to make a realistic version. And you can see that um, you give it some additional prompt here. So this is a realistic professional version of it. And you can see that it looks a lot alike like the previous one. So further on, you can see that it gives it more prompt using that same penguin. And you can see that it could create different um, textures for the penguin, maintaining the same shape and consistency. You can see there's a metallic version. So you could tell that it's the same penguin, but it's just in a different textural form. The second thing that this new model really excels at is writing very detailed text in the image that it generates. So that's another well-known problem that existed until now. You can see that it gave it a really long prompt with exact specifications of what to show up in this picture. And it was able to successfully have all of the desired text in this image, which is pretty crazy. And you can even prompt it to give it a different view. So it's saying a selfie view now. And you can see that we get a selfie view with the same background. So this level of consistency between images is very impressive. And I'm pretty amazed by how far we have gone with AI image generation. But here you can see there's more examples. We have meaningful, meaningful words example here. So this is an example of that. This is a pretty long prompt saying it wants to have the exact text. Again, previously they struggled a lot with exact text in the prompt, but this model here does it seamlessly. And here's more example here of a comic strip. So you can see again, this is a very detailed prompt and it did it very well. Another one here, this is a science experiment here. So you can see that this one has a very detailed image with actually correct text and correct color spectrum, everything. So the accuracy and level of detail with this model is pretty crazy. So here you can see down here, there's some more examples here. So if you scroll over, this is the text rendering, which we talked about. But another really useful thing is you could actually give it a input image and have it give you a new image based off of the input image. So here you can see this is an example of a comic strip uh, example. And then you tell it to create a version of a sketch that you had. So this has a lot of different applications for this. And you could imagine where you could use with this type of application. So you can see that it modifies a few more things here. So this is back with the penguin example. So, so you can see that you could either use an input reference that was generated by AI or an input image that you upload. And it could do a very good job in maintaining the consistency. So here you can see these are a few more examples. This one is with very detailed instructions that it has to follow. So here is organized objects I see. This is an image of an empty city. You have a wine glass. Here you see there's a tiny drop of red, which was able to do. Uh, invisible elephant, and then math equation. So these are all very detailed prompts with very specific instructions that it was able to understand and generate. You can also he see here, there's some other examples where you have reference images. So this one is of a building. You have a picture of a woman. So again, it's very good at taking a input reference image and generating a new one. So this is quite impressive. There are some limitations with this model though. So here you can see this is an example with cropping. So sometimes if you some parts are cut off, you also have hallucinations. So, so certain things it won't quite know. So it'll generate things because it may lack some knowledge in their model. You have high binding problems. So here you can see this is a very elaborate periodic table that it could struggle with. And then we also have precise graphing. So very detailed things you can see that it has trouble with. So for things like that, you might rely on Python. Multilingual text rendering. So for those that know different language, you might know that some of this might not be correct. But basically, you can see the general gist of it is that for extremely detailed things, 
it might have trouble doing. So like this one here, make me an image showing me the steps to draw a puppy. So step one, two, three, and four. It's step three, it ends up losing the feature of the face. So there's little bits of things that I struggles with, but I would say since the last uh, generations of image generation models, this one definitely made a significant leap. So go ahead and try it out. And if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.